big, big episode today. We're only five episodes in and already we've got our first board meeting of the series. Can we survive today's episode of Walks to the Prem? Hello guys, it's me, Bad Jokes, back at you once again with another video. And today guys, we've got episode number 5 of the Kingsland Walks to Prem save here on FM20. And yep, massive episode today. Big, big episode. We've got a board meeting to discuss our poor performance in the last game. And I'm going to say poor like that because I don't agree that it was a poor performance. I'm going to show you the results in a minute. Let you see how you think we got on in that game. But yeah, just to show you, there it is. The board wished to hold a meeting with you regarding the team's performance against Farsley. They think we should have performed a lot better. So, yep, we shall see what you boys think. But it's been a little while since you was last with me, which was for the Ultranum game here. The 3-1 win. We should have won it 3-0, but they had an absolute wonder goal in the last minute. And so, overall, I was really happy with that performance. 3-1 win. Very happy. And then after that, we had a 1-1 draw against Leamington bit lucky to get out of that with a goal with, with a point to be honest so yeah very very lucky to get out of that one and then we lost 2-0 to Chelmsford Robbie Simpson and Sam Higgins with both of their goals and it was another one where we just didn't get into the game we just never looked like scoring to be honest I mean look at that our best performance is a 7.1 from Alfie Payne. So yeah. That was disappointing. And then we had another defeat. This time against Hereford. 1-0. Rhys Stice with a goal in the first half. And again nobody really standing out. From our team. But then we did get back to winning ways. 2-1 win for us. Adam Marriott winning it for us. In the last minute of the game. Deservedly getting the joint best performance of the game. So very happy with that. Very, very delighted to get back to winning ways there. But since then, we have gone one, two, three, four games without a win before the Kettering game there. Starting off with a 1 1 draw against Alfreton. 1 all Ryan Hawkins with the equaliser for us. And then a 2 1 defeat. To Telford, McKilkin and Andre Brown winning it for them. And yet again, another one where other than our goal, we never looked like getting into it. Very disappointing. But then this mad, mad game against Kidderminster. 6-3. What an absolutely mental game that was. The goals just kept on coming. But unfortunately not for us. Our defence is, to be honest, quite shocking. We really do need to improve our defending because, uh, according to the match stats, we've got the worst defence in the league. We have conceded the most goals, and I think it's not even close. Might have a look at that in a minute. And then, following on from that, 2-1 defeat to Curzon Aston. Aaron Smith in the first minute. Lewis Kahori just before the halftime whistle making it 2-0. Jarvis did get us one back. And we had a few chances to get back into this one. To be honest, but it just was not to be. But thankfully, we finally picked up three points again against Kettering. Marriott, Payne, Clunan, all with the goals in the first 31 minutes to really wrap the game up for us. And we did look very, very good in this game. But then the last one and the one the board are not happy about. A 1-0 defeat to Farsley with Jimmy Spencer getting the goal in the 83rd minute. And... Let's have a look at the match stats. And if you guys are watching, I want some of your comments down below. Let me know what you think of this. 
is this worthy of getting a board meeting after the game? 13 shots, 2 are 12, 6 on target each, and 50-50 on the ball. I'm going to see if there's any more advanced match stats we can get. Uh, let's have a look at anything else. Uh, player ratings. Let's have a look at that. Nobody there really standing out for us. Uh, Chris Henderson getting a 7.0 was our best player. Jimmy Spencer, their goal scorer. His rating is only that high because he got the goal. He didn't really seem to do too much else in the game. So other than that, they're pretty much very equal to us again. So I'm really not understanding why they're the board are so unhappy with us. But, okay. And also, just before we do go into the board meeting, we've had one bit of transfer news as well. We have brought in George Brown on a free transfer. He's a 21-year-old English right-sided midfielder. He came in when we had a bit of an unofficial trial day. He, we brought like 30-odd people in on trial, and he was the one who really stood out. He was at Margate in the Bostick League Premier last season, but on loan, but didn't get any games for them apparently. But he did start his career at Colchester, and he does look quite decent to be fair. Three star current, four possibly five star potential ability, 12 first touch, nine dribbling, nine crossing, 13 decisions, 12 and 12 for acceleration and pace. So maybe once we get a few games into him, he might be alright. And so, moment of truth, people. Moment of truth. Let's get into this. Let's go attend the meeting. Pray for bad jokes. Hashtag pray for bad jokes, please. We are disappointed with the result against Farsley and would like to know what happened. Uh, we were just unlucky, I think. I think I can say that. Oh, easy as that. I've been stressing all night and I saw it in one question. That's how you do a board meeting, people. We are still alive in the series, still alive in the save. They say, we agree, if a bit more luck had gone your way, we wouldn't be having this meeting. Well, if you understood bloody football, we would not be having this meeting. Look at the match stats, you idiot, Stephen. Absolute nutter. We believe it's important to stay on good terms with you, so hopefully we can continue to work together to build a positive future for this team. Oh, thank God for that. But, just to make things that bit more difficult, what do I do? Do I bring you Boston again, or do I skip that one and bring you Blythe? Let's go Boston. Let's go Boston. It's the next game up. It makes sense. So that is what we are going to go for. And so I'll be back with you in a week's time for the game against Boston. All right, guys. Here we are. It's game day for the game against Boston. The away version of the local derby for the season. And just thought I'd show you this. Before we do get into the game, the finances, not looking good, is it, boys and girls? Not looking good at all. Look at that. Our main expenditure, 48 grand. Income, only 21. We are 22 grand in debt. And it's not going to get better anytime soon. If anybody has any clues how to fix this, let me know in the comment section down below. And as well as that, our monthly manager performance review has gone down to a C-, minus, but it's all Cs and across the board. And even the tactics have got better. That was at like an E or something in the last video, I think. The board really wasn't happy with the old 442 tactics. So that's at least one thing that has improved. And the dynamics as well. Clunan Street, Fryer are our leaders. Gas and Marriott are the highly influential ones. So let's get into the game. We're going with this 4-3-3. 
Burn in goal. Swain, Fryer, Smith, Jones as the back four. Clunan, Payne and Richards as the midfield three. Clunan and Richards as Caraleros. See what that does for us. And Payne as an attacking advanced playmaker. And then Henderson and the new boy Brown on the wings. And then Adam Marriott up top all on his lonesome. Hopefully we can get some balls into him. And he can score us a couple of goals. As you can see, Boston are big, big favourites. Two to one on. Oh, that's not good. That is not good. We need a result here. And here we are. Boston going with a 4-4-2. And their main man is Adebayo Smith. I've been warned about him in the press conference. I've got an inbox message from an ex-Kings Lynn player warning us about him so first thing i'm going to do before we do get into that is to have a look and see what our assistant's done and he's gone just tackle him hard so just tackle him hard but i'm going to go press him as well and hopefully that will keep him quiet and then we're going to go team talk assertive we're the underdogs here or do i go i know a lot you'd be keen, keen to avenge Let's be the Avengers, yeah? A few people have listened to that. And now here we go, come on. Gotta have faith for faith for faith. Not many other people really paying any attention to us. And let's get into the tunnel interview. We're looking at everything from tactical changes to individual work. And we're 18th in the form table, wow. It could take just one result to go on a positive run. And yep, Adebayo Smith has been banging in the goals. He's a fine player, but we've got good players too. And it's good to have someone as awesome as Clunan. And now we can finally get into this big, big derby game. And first highlight up, 45 seconds in. Green to Adebayo Smith. To Green again. Goes wide to Jackson. And is he going to cross the ball in? No, he just plays it through to Smith. And it's a penalty in the first minute. That is not what I wanted when I said mark him and press him. Oh no. Ains with the penalty and he just powered it into the back of the net. And that is as bad a start to a derby game as you can get. Ten minutes in now. Ains, the goal scorer, goes out wide to their main man again. Adebayo Smith to green. And again it's gone wide to Jackson. They're getting a lot of joy down our left hand side and can we please get this ball back no Jackson with the cross and thankfully Swain gets it away but only as far as Stabana and that goes over the bar and we survive 20 minutes in now Jackson to Adebayo Smith and Jones wins the ball back and can Richards get onto that no he can't he's giving it away it's Knowles and Akpro's in Akpro is in, please don't make this two. And thankfully our defence did a very good job closing down the angle. Now Swain with a long ball there for us. Can Mario get onto it? He does. And can he cross it or can he find a teammate? Nope, he can just give it away. What are we doing? Rollins now with the ball. Plays it forward but Swain gets it back again. And again he goes long. And this time the new boy Brown is in. And he's shot but the keeper's saved it. Can Marriott get there first? He does but again. Twice in one highlight. He's given the ball away. Half hour gone now. Jackson with a long throw. We clear it. Marriott brings the ball down. Can he keep hold of it this time? Yes he does. Goes to Henderson. And it's Henderson giving, giving the ball away. What is going on with his team? We cannot pass a ball five yards. Jackson with the ball to Smith. To Green. And now Akpro with it into Knowles. Please just win this ball back. Akpro with it. That all came from that fucked up pass in the halfway line. Sorry for swearing, but bloody hell. Green with the ball there. Akpro to Knowles. And now, very good long goal there. Just before half-time, Boston have got the ball again. 
And again, we've given it away, but this time we win it back. Payne with it. Can he make a short pass? Congratulations. You've passed it to a teammate. Goes wide to Brown. And now he plays it again to Richards. Into Payne. Marriott's in space. He's offside. Knew it as soon as they played the ball. If it was obvious to me, why isn't it obvious to you? Like, he's a long, long way offside. Yeah, not even close. That is half-time, people. And that has been disastrous. We have not got anywhere near this team here. Let's go tactics. I'm going to change the two wide central midfielders into Mazala's. I'm going to put them both on attack. And to see what that does. And yep, yeah, I think we're going to go hit early crosses now. And just try and play down the wings. And go slightly more direct, higher tempo. And then go team talk, go assertive. I want to see a much better showing in that second half. And please, let us at least get a point out of this. Right, and early in the second half, we're making a change. Aaron Jones' rating has gone down to a 5.6. So we're getting him off very quickly for Joshua Webb. And yep, let's just see if we can fix that problem. Just over half hour left in the game. Marriott back to Webb. Webb with the ball. To Richards, to Webb. Into Alfie Payne. Okay, and so we're keeping the ball nicer now. We are actually being able to pass it, but we're doing nothing with it. Finally, the ball finds its way out wide to Swain. Can he cross it in? He's got all the time in the world. Goes to Henderson who suits and the keeper just parries it over the bar. And now that was a little bit nicer. If we can get a goal here, you never know what can happen. Brown with a long shot and that is over the bar. Again, a highlight a minute later in Boston's half. Jackson with the throw in. And their main man there heads it back to Jackson. And now he's coming forward. Tries to go over the top. And Act Pro is in. This is going to be free. Well, if the board are going to moan about any performance, they've got a right to moan about this one. We have not been anywhere near the races here. 25 minutes left. Can we at least get a goal? A one goal, that's all I want now. Clunan goes wide. Brown picks it up. Can he cross it in? He doesn't. He goes back to Richards and hit the bar, comes down off the line and goes away. Not our day at all. Let's go let's go two up top. I see you know what? Let's go three up top. Sod it. Have we got enough strikers for that? No, we haven't. Of course we haven't. But you know what? Gonna bring on gas in place of Chris Henderson. And then we're gonna go much, much more direct, much more narrow, suit on site, much higher tempo. And then a higher line of engagement. And let's just see what that can do for us. As all, oh, we've got a goal. We have a goal there. I thought that was just going to be the little weird highlighty thing you get after you make a sub. But Alfie Payne has got us one back. Very nice goal here. Payne played it to Clunan. His shot was blocked. Payne hit it first time. And he gets his seventh of the season. Is this a chance for us to get back into the game? As indeed, I am going to carry on with the changes. Ten minutes left in the game. Stabana with a free kick for Boston and... Wow. How simple was that? Our, our defence, I'm telling you. They are all going in the summer. If I survive. If I survive this this first season, they are all gone. The defenders, the keepers, the lot of them are all gone. And we are going to rebuild in the summer. 
And of course it's five. Of course Boston have got a fifth. Probably half my fault for wanting to go very attacking. I'm never doing that again this FM. It does not work at all. Jean Louis Acker Acpro, what a name. Very nice header. 5 1. And oh, he might have been offside there. That is controversial, but doesn't really make a difference, does it, boys and girls? Oh. 5 1 defeat to our local rivals. You know what? The match stats don't tell the story of that game. We did not deserve to get anything out of that. And we didn't. 14 shots to our 21. 7 on target to our 9. But look at them player ratings for Boston. Pretty much everybody was that 9 out of the 11 who finished the game on at least a 7.2. So, yep, we got one hell of a beating. Let's go assertive. I said, no, I'm going to go aggressive again. I'm not happy with the result. They're all fired up. It's all well and good them being fired up. But we have got a lot, a lot of work on. So, here's the league table after that game. We're in 14th. 12 points now off the playoffs. Any hope of getting, getting into the playoffs is now gone. But the main target is to get top half. And thankfully, we're still only one point off that particular target. So please, please, please let us be able to get that. Let's have a look at the inbox. Thankfully, no board meeting this time. But let's have a look at the club vision. We're still on a C-. And so, guys, that is where we are going to leave it. I'm going to try and come back in another 10 games time. And so where does that put us? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So that puts us right towards the end of the season.